What's up, gang? So, in this video, I got a video request from a dude that wants me to answer. What happens when the girl that rejected you comes back, right? And I got a couple different things to say about this because there is no clear cut answer. There could be different reasons as to why she's coming back, so I'm gonna get into that. And I'm pretty sure I did a video similar to this before, but it's not the exact same video, and this is an interesting topic. So, if a girl that has rejected you comes back, you most likely, it's very likely, it's very highly likely that you improved your life in a certain area. It could be, it could be anything. You could have improved your physique, you could have improved your health, you could have improved your finances, you could have, you could have done any of these things, right? You could have improved anywhere. She likes it, she wants to come back. Um, it could be because she rejected you because maybe she was talking to another guy at the time. That could be another thing. This happens too. If a girl is talking to another guy that she likes at the time, she's not going to give any other guy the time of the day. That could be a reason. And you just might not know that. Um... She, she just might not have been feeling it in general. She might have needed time to be single, so she rejected you. That's another situation right there. Um, and another reason, this could be bad, and this relates to you improving your life. Maybe you improved your finances. Maybe you got a bunch of money. Maybe you're making a lot of money. Maybe... You did that, plus you look better, plus you're more positive. All these things. Now she wants it, right? She might be doing that just because she wants to take advantage of what you got going on. And that might not always be the best thing because I believe if somebody really likes you, they're going to like you at any point in your life. You could be in the midst of a grind, you don't have much at the moment. You could be on top of the mountain and it wouldn't make a difference, right? If somebody likes you, they like you for you, not for what you have. So that's something to think about. And only the person that requested this video would know this answer. So this is something you gotta figure out yourself. I would probably be careful depending on what you think is going on because if she just wanted to be single maybe needed time for herself maybe she got out of a maybe she got out of a rough relationship that could have happened um, maybe she was talking to another dude and then that ended up not working out now she wants to give you a chance so those would be reasonable things. I wouldn't be too worried in that situation, but I would be worried a little bit if she just wants you now for what you have and didn't even give you the time of the day because of the person you were. Because, like I just mentioned, the right girl will like you no matter what. She likes you for you. And any single person on the face of this planet has the ability to completely change their life in like a year's time. Anybody does. If somebody likes you, they really like you for you. And you guys can grow together. You guys can do better together. And so on and so forth. So, I just watch out for that, bro. A little bit. I watch out. Make sure you know what's up. Make sure you know why she all of a sudden is coming back and wants to give you a chance after she rejected you. That's what you have to know. I just gave you all the scenarios. Now you have to put the pieces of the puzzle together because I don't know who this girl is. I don't know her past. 
I don't know why she rejected you. I don't know these answers. I just know the scenarios. So, this is something you gotta figure out. And like I said, I just be careful because not everybody has good intentions whenever they wanna come into your life. And I wouldn't wanna be with somebody anyway. I would not wanna be with no female that just wants to be in my life all of a sudden for what I have. Like I wasn't enough whenever I didn't have like all the essentials, right? That's bullshit and like it's the same thing with me. Like when I like a girl, I really fucking like a girl. And it does not matter if she's just doing average in the moment or she has the best job and she's making a shitload of money, got everything going, right? That don't matter to me because once we're together anyway, we're gonna grow together and we're gonna fucking make it big. So that's what's gonna happen. And the people that come into my life, I make them better. I'm not worried about, I'm more worried about the per, like don't, don't look at like objects. Don't look at material things. Don't look at how they're doing in the moment because who you are right now is not actually who you are. Who you were in your past is not who you are. Your past does not define your future. Your present does not define your future. That's all bullshit. At any moment, anything could happen in your life. You could hit lightning in a bottle, and all of a sudden, shit's changed. The tables have turned. So, you shouldn't look at anybody for who they are right now, and you shouldn't judge anybody for their past, because people change. People change. And even, like, sometimes for the better or worse. Some people do change for the worse. Some people do change for the better. Now, that's something you want to look out for too, because if somebody has a mindset of changing for the worse, you don't want to let them in your life. If somebody's not just got everything at the moment, but they have the mindset that they have a more driven mindset, they're more positive, they're hardworking, you know they're loyal, you know they care, and all these things, right? What they have in that moment does not matter, because that's not who they are. That's bullshit. And yes, I would not get with a girl that is planning on going down. I want a girl that at least has a good head on her shoulders, knows what's up, at least has some sort of a plan or blueprint, blueprint for the future. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be a perfect plan because there is no perfect plan. Things change all the time. It's just that right mindset that you gotta watch out for when you're getting into a relationship. Is this person too comfortable, too quick, too young? Is this person not wanting to improve themselves or their situation? Are they not hungry for a better taste of life? These are, these are things you wanna watch out for. Because they will suck you dry. Absolutely. And that's no good, bro. Doesn't matter how good looking a girl is. Doesn't matter how good looking a guy is. If you're a girl dating a guy, it does not matter. What matters is more about the mindset and the person. And how caring they are, how loyal they are. These things matter first. And I guarantee you this right now, nothing's perfect. Nothing will ever be perfect. You're not gonna get the perfect person because they don't exist. Some girl might have these super banging hot looks, but a whole lot of other things are messed up. Some girl might look pretty damn good. She might look good, maybe not great, but good. And she's got a great head on her shoulder. She's got a lot of other things going on. She's got a lot of other good things going on for her, right? But she ain't a straight 10 dime piece. 
there is no perfect world, right? So, yeah, you got to put these pieces of the puzzle together and figure out this situation. And everybody else watching this right now too, if you guys are ever going through a situation like this, just remember these scenarios that I named during the start and middle of this video. That's what you gotta watch out for. It's really not that hard guys, to know what's what. It's really not. But it might be hard if you have like little to no experience. With experience, you know everything. With this knowledge, you know everything. So just listen to it. And I'm gonna cut this video off right now. I will be back with another one, lots more. So until next time, I'm out.